Uh, what do you guys think of the new look? <laughs> How is the shape of my head? I've never seen the shape of my head before. <laughs> you ready to go to the office? You ready to go to the office? <laughs> Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, I posted a short about my hair and I have been really struggling with cutting it. Not because I don't want to cut it, but because it's now, you know, we're getting into the winter months and it's going to be cold. <laughs> so I figure I might have some sort of, you know, winter coat for a little while before I cut my hair. Um, one of the really big reasons why I want to cut this hair ASAP is because I like to swim, I like to run, and uh, when I do either of those activities, my hair actually gets in the way now. It's getting too heavy. Uh, wearing a swim cap, you know, a silicon swim cap with a ponytail tucked into the back, it's not very comfortable. And so this is what my hair looks like down. So this is my hair. This is how it looks like when it's down. And apparently I'm like Herman Lee, Herman Lee's twin. <laughs> so I'm showing you this is because the guidelines that I'm told I have to go by is that when you quadrant your hair, you know, if you were to divide your hair into four sections, let's say this is the section number one, and then section number two, and then the back section number three, and then the back section number four. Um, from this point, so where the, from where the ponytail technically starts up here, where my finger is, all the way down to the end needs to be about 12 inches or longer. So this section right here, basically from here down to here, I measured, I think I'm about 14 inches or so. So I think I am safe to go and cut it now. Here's my, I wouldn't call it a dilemma, but here's my situation. So when I first started with this, this, uh, you know, growing process and my plan of donating my hair, I thought I was gonna simply cut from back here and give them my ponytail, and then I'll have, you know, a good, what, a five or six inches of length for my new hairstyle. But now, with this new guideline that I've discovered that you're gonna have to cut basically everything off, I'm left with two options. I'm left with growing it for another four or five months or six months, and then, you know, giving them 14 inches, and I'll still have maybe four or five inches to myself or I basically go, go all in, give them everything they can take, literally take off, you know, give them the longest ponytail you know, sections I can give them and shave my head and basically regrow my hair from scratch. Oh my goodness, look at this hair. Coconut. You ready for my haircut, coconut? You're going home. So this is Rochelle. Hi. Here at Fantastic Sam's. Are we in Folsom or are we in Rancho, We're in Rancho Cordova? We're in Rancho Cordova right now. Mm -hmm. How long has your hair been this length? Uh, it's, well, I've been growing it for two years. Okay. I don't know how, how long it's been. Um, th I don't know, I guess it's... For about two years? Yeah, I started okay. two years ago. Fair enough. Alright, that's your hair. Wow, your hair is beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be one ponytail. And I can yeah. have like, you know, six, seven inches to myself. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, this will this will get more yield. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Ooh, Ooh it feels really weird. Ooh. It's like, it feels like sandpaper. <laughs> well, it's done. <sighs> well, it feels really nice. Oh, now it feels like, can you guys hear that? It feels really loud. It's done. So now, <laughs> uh, I haven't shown my wife yet. I haven't texted her a photo or anything. So I'm just going to go home and see what she says. Um, I don't think she was expecting me to take it all off. <laughs> yeah, so I guess in about a month or so, they're gonna send my hair into like the headquarters uh, for Wigs for Kids. And then I guess in two or three months, they'll get it done or they'll make the wig. Apparently they have to wait for like 20 people to cut their hair 
And then after that, they'll assemble all the hair that are similar texture, similar length to make the wig. I didn't know it required like donations of 20 people. If you or anyone you know receives a wig from Wigs for Kids in like February, March, or April of 2022, and it's, you know, you're getting a wig with straight hair, <laughs> there is a slight chance that it's my hair. Anyways, I hope my hair uh, can bring a smile to somebody's face. That's really, it's all really <laughs> what I wanna do. And, uh, and that's it. This is the last time you guys are gonna hear about me talking about my hair. All right, well, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, yeah, so knife reviews and restorations are on their way.